Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Top government sources have said that Pakistan has lost an F-16 on 27th February and have rubbished the claim by a prominent American magazine. According to Foreign Policy, a U.S. count of Pakistan's F-16 fleet has reportedly found that none of the Pakistani F-16 fighter jets are missing. A top expert has said that this was expected, as the U.S. will never accept that an F-16 was shot down by a vintage Russian MiG-21, as there are major upcoming opportunities for F-16 in the Middle East and South Asia for around 200 jets. The U.S. magazine did not reveal if the U.S. conducted the audit of AMRAM in Pakistan's possession, or the audit included ex-Jordanian F-16 fighter jets procured directly from Jordan. Tom Cooper, a top aerial combat analyst from Austria has said that he has confirmed from four Pakistani F-16 pilots that Pakistan had lost an F-16 during the aerial combat, and India needs to put together both the circumstantial and intelligence-based facts. The Malaysian defense analysts have predicted that the Malaysian government is not in a hurry to seal the deal with any manufacturer for new light combat aircraft, and even if they go ahead with the purchase, it will most likely be a barter deal with the winning manufacturer. Malaysia has a serious budget problem, and it has already grounded 18 MiG-29 fighter jets due to high maintenance costs, and 14 of their total 18 Su-30 fighter jets require deep overhaul and maintenance. The Malaysian government had previously asked India to buy their grounded MiG-29 fleet in a barter deal, for receiving spares and parts for their Su-30 fighter jets. It is highly unlikely that only technical performance will fetch an order from Malaysia, and the Indian government will need to come up with new innovative payment options which can turn the tide towards the Tejas aircraft, to secure its first order from an international customer. The Ministry of Defense has said that the four Krivak 3 class ships that the Indian Navy is buying from Russia will be equipped with the BrahMos anti ship cruise systems, and the Defense Acquisition Council has approved the procurement of BrahMos systems for the first two frigates, which are fully built at a Russian shipyard. The cost of the third and fourth ships that will be built at the Goa shipyard will increase due to transfer of technology, shipping raw materials and systems from Russia, and establishing building infrastructure at the Goa shipyard, and indigenizing parts of the ship. India is also negotiating a supplementary contract with Ukraine, for gas turbine engines that will power the four frigates. A defense technology startup company Big Bang Boom Solutions has said that it has bagged a 1.5 crore rupees grant for winning the see-through armor competition by the Ministry of Defense, under the Innovations for Defense Excellence. The grant also entitles the company to co-develop the equipment along with the Indian Army. The Innovations for Defense Excellence was launched by the central government in April 2018 to foster innovation and technology development in the field of aerospace and defense. According to latest reports, the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has outlined its ambitious plans under its project AZAM. Under this project, Pakistan aims to develop a fifth-generation fighter, a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, and the UAV is in the final design phase. The Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has now created a new office called the Aviation Research Indigenization and Development Unit, to lead the Pakistani FGFA program. According to latest reports, Russia will deliver the second batch of S-400 systems to China by the end of July 2019. At least three vessels will be used to deliver the systems to China, and the first ship will leave in July 2019 while the deadline for the dispatch of the second and third ships were not revealed. China and Russia had concluded a deal for the procurement of six S-400 units in November 2014 for $3 billion. 
the combat management system developed by Tata Power SED, was recently handed over to the Indian Navy for its first indigenously built aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, and the system will cater for the enhancement of evaluation and resource allocation, and will effectively integrate the MiG-29 fighter jets mission planning in the offensive or defensive role. The government is now moving ahead for a rapid development in artificial intelligence which will significantly boost the communications intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities, along with command and control.